हॅलो नमस्कार विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो सध्या ह्या लॉकडाऊन तुमच्या पार्श्वभूमीवरती वेगवेगळ्या माध्यमातनं आम्ही तुमच्या समोर येण्याचा प्रयत्न करतोय आणि त्याचाच एक भाग म्हणून आज आपण युट्यूबच्या माध्यमातनं केमिस्ट्री या विषयाच्या टीचिंगला सुरुवात करत आहे फॉर एक्झाम्पल वेम प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू पी वन वॉल्युम इज व्ही वन टेम्परेचर इज टी वन इज पी वन व्ही वन अँड टी वन डिफाईन्स द सिस्टीम कम्प्लिटली अँड कॉल्ड एज अ स्टेट ऑफ अ सिस्टीम दि सिस्टीम कॅन चेंजेस फ्रॉम वन स्टेट टू अन अदर स्टेट दॅट इज फ्रॉम प्रेशर पी वन to pressure p2 volume v1 to v2 temperature t1 to t2 the first is initial state p1 v1 t1 and p2 v2 and t2 are the final state of a system the properties whose value depends only upon the state of a system that is a initial state and a final state of a system is called as a state function once again the property whose value depends only state of a system is known as a state function for example the system at state 1 initial state having pressure p1 and volume v1 changes to final state p2 and v2 a system can changes from more than one part if it changes from initial state to final state by three different parts then change in pressure delta p is equal to final pressure p2 minus initial pressure p1 for all three different states and hence delta p change in pressure remains same for all these process parts and hence a change in pressure is a state function okay a function of a thermodynamic property whose magnitude depends only upon a state that is initial state and the final state of a system is called as a state function it does not depends upon path followed by a system the path function are the functions or properties whose values magnitudes depends upon the path way or a mechanism followed by a process or system is known as a path function okay we will see a next concept a process a process means a path way mechanism by which a system changes from one state to another state that is from initial state to final state is known as a process or transmission from one equilibrium to another equilibrium is called as a process simply or generally a mechanism by which process can changes from one state to another state is known as a process there are several kinds of a process these are isothermal process isobaric process isochoric process adiabatic process reversible process and etc etc a first one isothermal process 
this word isothermal is a combination of two different words. Iso plus thermal. Iso means same. Ther means heat. That is the process which is carried out at same temperature, constant temperature is called as isothermal process. Once again, the process which is carried out at same temperature, constant temperature is called as isothermal process. Here initial temperature T1 and final temperature T2 are equal. That is T1 is equal to T2. It will be happen due to a heat exchanges from system to surrounding or from surrounding to system and temperature remain constant. For this isothermal process, change in internal energy, delta U, is also equal to zero because energy depends upon the temperature and as temperature remains constant, change in internal energy, delta U, is equal to zero. Hence, for isothermal process, delta T is equal to zero as well as delta U is equal to zero. Next one, second type of process, isobaric process. Once again, iso means same, bar means a process. The process which is carried out at same pressure, a constant pressure is known as isobaric process. For this process, initial pressure P1 is equal to final pressure P2 and hence Change in pressure delta P, which is equal to P2 minus P1 is also equal to 0. And hence, for isobaric, isobaric process, delta B, P is equal to 0. Third process, isoporic process. The process which is carried out at a constant volume is known as an isoporic process. Here, V1 is equal to V2. And hence, V2 minus V1, that is final pressure volume minus initial volume is equal to 0. That is change in volume is equal to 0 for isochoric process. Next and important process, which is adiabatic process. The process in which heat cannot exchange from system to surrounding or from surrounding to system that is Q is equal to 0. As Q is equal to 0, heat cannot exchange from system to surrounding or vice versa here T1 is not equal to T2. That is for exothermic reaction the temperature of process can be changed or for endothermic process temperature can be decreases. And hence, here T1 is not equal to T2 and hence, change in temperature, delta T is also not equal to 0. Similarly, internal energy chain is also not equal to 0. What is the major difference between adiabatic and isothermal process? In isothermal process, it can exchange, temperature remain constant, while in adiabatic process, it cannot exchange and the temperature cannot be remain constant.